This channel is dedicated to getting you into exercise, but crucially, helping you stay there. And it might surprise you to know that the dropout rates in people that run, exercise, do triathlon are surprisingly high when they hit their first setback if they're not connected to their why. And that is what this video is about, helping you find your running why or exercise why so that you can stay in the game long term no matter what challenges you face down the line. So we're going to go for a run as a family. Mary's behind the camera now rather than sitting next to me. And we're going to talk you through all of the factors that we consider when finding our running why so that you can find your own, connect to it and keep yourself in the game for the rest of your life. So let's run. So let's start with the question that has no right or wrong answers. And if you want to share your answers in the comments, by all means do, but don't feel like you have to. And the question is, why did you start exercising? What was the reason? So while we let Winnie go and swim, let us take a guess at what we think you may have put for your reasons that you started exercise. And by the way, they're probably very similar to ours when we started. Yeah. I'm gonna guess possibly to lose some weight. Mary? To get fitter. To get fitter. Uh, for a new challenge, uh, a, a different challenge, a goal of some kind. Yeah. Or maybe to get faster or to get a new PB or something. Yeah. My bet is that the majority of you have put it in one of those four brackets. We have to let Winnie have go back attend. in. Yeah. We have to attend to whiny one. Winnie. Go on then. So that's my guess. And they're not bad reasons to start, but they're the reasons to start. And the reason that I say these are a good way to start is because they will get you in the door. They will help you start the process. But what they also are is they are outcome based motivations. Now, the thing about outcome goals is they're both positive in that they get you in the door, but they have drawbacks because they can be finite, as in there's an end point. Yeah. So what happens if you lose the weight that you want to lose? What happens next? What happens if you run the time that you want to run? What happens next? What happens if you run in the race that you've been training for for a long time and it's done? What happens next? What happens when you're getting faster and faster and fitter and fitter and you get injured or you just stop getting faster or fitter? What happens next? These are all outcomes that can end and then you've got to think what next? So that's the differentiation I think is outcome goals get you in the door, yeah. process goals keep you in the game and that's what we're going to talk about and that is where you connect to your why. Oh I should smile. Why? Do you want to do the ding and I'll actually do you a ding this time? I don't trust you. Oh no go on honestly. Okay. I promise. Go on do the... If he doesn't he's a very cruel man. Go on. I definitely did a ding. I feel like I just want to remake the point that what we just said, those reasons, they're all great reasons for starting exercise. Really good reasons. So don't get it mistaken. If you were in it for weight loss at the start, that's brilliant. Anything that gets you in the door, that's great. Before we even start looking into how we find out well, why, can I just give you my one number one tip, my absolute top tip to keep you in the game when you're a runner. And it is basically what I've just said. If you run, you're a runner. I say it all the time, but it doesn't matter if you go out and for the majority of your run, you walk, but you run a little bit. It doesn't matter if you run at a certain pace. If you run, if you lace those shoes up, that's what you are, you're a runner and you need to identify as that. Because the difference between a runner and a non-runner when you face a setback, like let's just say, for example, injury, is a person that identifies as a runner will do anything that it takes to get back to running, even if it means weeks and weeks of strength and conditioning and rehabilitation. If you don't identify as a runner, you might just think, I gave it my best shot, I wanted to be a runner, I tried to be a runner, but it didn't work out for me. That's a big difference and that can keep you in the game at the start as well. And 
And as I have previously mentioned, the opposite of an outcome goal is a process. And that's what I'm going to talk about once I finish this run, because I've got 300 meters left and I want to get inside and have a drink. Okay. Now that you have, and I'm hoping you have, identified as a runner, and it doesn't matter what speed that you run at, doesn't matter what distance you run, doesn't even matter if you do races or not, if you go out there and run, you're a runner. Once you're there, you can start thinking about what would be your why, the thing that will tie you to running or exercise long, long term. And rather than it being an outcome like we've spoken about earlier, it is about the process because the process can be infinite and it can be within your control. Whereas the outcome is finite, as in it can have an end point and sometimes it's not in your control. Look at if you were a person that's completely motivated by racing, the last year and a half, we pretty much had no races. What happens then? So we go to the infinite and that's where we start. And you could argue that process is slightly more wishy-washy, it's slightly more ethereal, but just hold on and bear with me one second. If you truly want your why to drive you forwards, then it has to be a positive process, right? So I'm thinking, I'm gonna give you a few examples off of the top of my head, but they aren't necessarily all of the examples and they might not be the thing that drives you, but let's talk about process. Things like, could you just be a person that exercises every week? Now, that means that if you are injured as a runner, it doesn't necessarily mean that you run every week. It might be that you do strength and conditioning or you cross train, you do swimming or you do cycling, but you identify as someone who does something every week. That can be infinite. That can be all the way till the end of your life. And again, slightly cliched, but could you be the type of person that wants to be better than they were yesterday? And I know it is cliched, I get that, but these sayings have been around for a long time with good reason, because they are things that work and they are things that drive people forwards. So if you just identify as a self-improver, a self-developer, whether that be exercise or reading books that expand your knowledge base or your thinking, or even learning things on YouTube, like these videos, hopefully, and did another ting there. I'm doing lots of tings at the moment. But these are things that can be infinite, that can go forever and tie you in to running if your outcomes don't happen, if you get injured, if you lose all the weight you needed to and then you think, what's next? So your why could be as simple as saying that you're gonna be someone that tries to improve themselves using exercise as one of the ways for the rest of your life. It's less specific, yes, it's not as specific as an outcome, but it is more likely to tie you long-term whatever roadblocks that you hit. So if you are interested in learning more about finding your why or even just about the process, the books I'd recommend are pretty much all of Simon Sinek's books, Start With Why, Leaders Eat Last, uh, The Infinite Game, or Grit by Angela Duckworth, or Atomic Habits by James Clear. These are all fantastic books to A, help you build very positive long-term habits, but also build grit, resilience, robustness, because let's face it, when you're running or when you're exercising, things aren't always gonna go your way. I'm not always gonna run PBs. I am gonna be injured sometimes, but because I am about the process, then I keep in the game always. It's all I know now because I've built that in myself and you absolutely can build that in yourself. I'm telling you right now, no bump in the road can stop you if you focus on the process. But just a little side note, I'm not stupid enough to think you shouldn't have outcome goals. Let's face it, I love racing. I am doing an Ironman this year. I have been trying to train for an Ironman for three years, but injuries and COVID, but because that doesn't matter to me as much as the process that I've gone through to get there. It's why I'm not bothered if the race happens or not. It would be a lovely little bonus. I love racing, don't get me wrong. So I'm not saying you can't be motivated by outcomes. I'm just saying, you know, have the balance and have it leaning towards process and have some of it outcome and you cannot go wrong. You know what? I think I've earned Millionaire's shortbread and actually I am interested in Mary's take on her why because I know mine strongly and I wonder what she thinks hers is. So you know what that means, right? Oh! I am so excited about this. About what? 
this coffee and oh, shortbread situation. I thought you meant about this, what it is. And you know what it is. This is... <gasps> Ben and Mary once bought a car and then they sat in a car and then they talked to people and called it car chat. No? The camera slipped while I was doing it as well. It was so bad that the camera actually started to try and jump off the ledge. <laughs> I'm telling you something. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Car Chat. We're here to try and talk about our why I guess. Now we talked about how you might be able to connect to your why or find a reason that keeps you in the game long enough. I thought it would be handy for you to know what ours are. Um, I'll, shall I start with mine? You start. So my overall why, my life's why, is to help other people fulfil their potential in whatever it is. That's why I'm a teacher, I'm a coach, it's why I do the YouTubies, it's all of that. But more specifically my running why I think for me and it's it, this is really hard to articulate actually I find it really hard because it's just it's something that burns in there so so brightly and strongly part but, of your fabric yeah but I always find it hard to actually bring out in words but it's basically I want to do and be the best that I can personally be every single day in my life because I just think we have this incredible chance at life. The, the odds of us being born are billions and trillions to one, right? Or all if you go back. And it's like, don't waste a single day of it. Like, every single day live life with absolute full force. Like, you know, you want to be that best you. And, and for me, exercise, I identify as part of that process. To be the best me, I need to exercise. I need to be healthy and fit and happy and and, and all have the lions. and have lions, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and be tired because I'm exercising. But but everything then comes off the back of that. So that's that's my why is because I genuinely believe every single day is a gift and we have to live it like that and be the best we can possibly be mm. every day. And I want to be world champion in the 90 to 95 category, but that's no secret. Like that's you know that's one of my things. Mary? Stay tuned to see if it happens in 50 years. Yeah, we'll still be here, guys. Um, I think I've got two, actually. I was thinking of one, but I've thought of another one. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, and that's fine. To... You're allowed that. Um, so one is basically, similarly, I want to be as healthy as I can to enjoy my life as best as I can and prolong it as much as possible, really. I want to feel good when I'm ageing and feel young and fresh and strong and I think that is part of that. It's like Simon Ward says about investing in your physical pension isn't it? Yeah 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 like we save money because we're protecting our future and it's like the physical version of that. Trademark Simon Ward. And my second one is that I just want to feel that my body's physically able and capable so keeping it strong and able to do stuff and these are all the reason that we bring this up is that we feel like these are all infinite goals they're not something that has really an end point being better every day being capable identifying as someone that exercises these are things that don't stop mm. whether you go through a race whether you lose weight or not whether you get injured or not these don't stop they're part of the fabric like we said of who you are and they're is the gold but I'm trying to just highlight the difference between process and outcome mm. and that outcomes are very important certainly in the early days but process is the key yeah and process for me is <laughs> I've just thought of something really good Go on then. really good okay we're gonna finish on this I want to experience as much as possible in my life and some of the things are physical things like I want to run the Great Wall of China marathon I want to do another ultra marathon something really different i want to do all these different things and races and running will be part of that it will give me the most unbelievable experiences i think that was worth saying well done coming up i'm going deep into triathlon territory mary's getting back into her running we'll both still be running back into it i only did an ultra last week <laughs> yeah good point <laughs> lots of races to come lots of fun to be had and of course we're moving to thailand which is pretty scary in itself. So scary. stick around, follow the channel, interact with us, and be proud to be a bunch of mess haps. And we'll see you on Sunday. <laughs>